All right, everybody, get ready for a whale of a holiday show. Hi out there, I'm Liz Brown Swanson. And I'm Maria Sorrell. We are here today at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, and we are ready to shop, Liz. We're always shopping. We are shopping, but this shopping show is a little bit different because what we're going to do is take you around the peninsula to all the wonderful nonprofit gift shops. All these gift shops, of course, help you give the gift that keeps on giving because you're giving to a great cause when you shop at a nonprofit gift shop like the one here at the Interpretive Center. Absolutely, and it's so important to give back during the holidays. So we're going to actually start here today at the Interpretive Center. People come here, of course, to Whale Watch. But today we're going to shop. We're going to show you everything that they have. And then I'm going to travel over to the other side of the hill, mm -hmm. over to Rolling Hills Estates at the Village. The Artist Studio have two gallery gift shops, of course, help benefit the PV Art Center. And then we can't forget Mark Doughty. He's going to yeah. help share with his Green Beat report. He's keeping it green. And he's going to be at the South Coast Botanic Garden because they have a tremendous gift shop there as well. It's great. Then, Liz, we'll meet back here later on. We're going to meet back here. All right, I'll, let you, I'll free you up to do some shopping. I'm ready to have go. Have a whale of a time in there. I will. Thanks. All right, I'm already shopping right here at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. I'm joined by Holly Starr and Emily Rodine, and there are so many fun things in here to buy for the holidays. I don't even know where to start. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Well, one of the things we have is local families, and this little package right here they put together with us, this is cookie cutters, and they're ocean-themed with a lighthouse. So you can give these with cookies, and they make a great gift, or just hang them on the basket. And Emily has a lovely sea urchin bowl yeah. and turn it this way Emily here you go yeah these are these are custom made and I believe we're the only people in the South Bay who are carrying these so um, there's a full set but this is this is a great place we have a lot of local artists we have artists from over, all over the world and again marine themed or nature oriented from something for the peninsula we have items that are as little as two dollars and go upwards of 700 so and, you know, people always want something from the peninsula i think and this is the perfect place to come because you have so many unique things i noticed the christmas ornaments as well um it's so festive the whale's very popular on the t-shirts and the long sleeve shirts very cute holly yeah. thank you so much yeah these shirts um are all a lot of the graphics are custom designed and of course they they tout the peninsula and its yeah. beauty very nice and, and sizes for everybody, sweat jackets, all kind of fun stuff. And, you know, always fun to have something from the peninsula again. Let's kind of move into the kids department here as uh, so many great books books that I see. Let's talk about that. Oh, thank you so much. Actually, um, Foki, the adventure of Foki the sea otter is actually written by um, a relative of one of our docents. A lot of the authors are self-published um, if they're local. And we have uh, not only the kids book, like In the Meadow, this is a great one. Don't feed the bears. It talks about, it talks about, um, she has a couple of environmental ones and it comes with a little CD that sings with you. Wow. Very cool. All right. And then how about over here? We've got some Oh, we have all, all kind of great, actually, stocking stuffers over here and all kind of fun stuff. Absolutely. And a lot of these items are under $10 um, for the kids. Everything from little uh, periscopes and science things. We have growing crystals to card games that identify, like, the national parks. You know, it's fun because I think that kids that like to learn while they're having, having fun playing, and there's tons of stuff here. We've got squishy balls and just all kinds of stuff. And what Emily just had was like a bath toy. So you can start them at a really young age getting exactly. used to the getting used to the idea. And one of the things they call it is edutainment. Ooh. So you're educating while you're entertaining. So Emily right now has a little pocket volcano in her hand. And these are these are experiments. They don't take a lot of time with the wow. parents, but the kids love to do them. So while you're home on the holidays, this is an activity that the whole family can share and you have something afterwards. Very nice. Now we're we're moving closely to jewelry, I see, which is going to be something I might have to actually partake in. Let's come over here and see what you have because this is ah. so fun. All right, a look at the colors and just reflecting of the ocean. Beautiful. Well, and again, we have everything from mood rings that have dolphins um, with them to it would be surprising. Now, this is an item that's under $500. This is actually white gold and, and 14 karat gold. Again, made by, made by a local um, Rolling Hills resident. Okay. Um, Birdie's Beads, uh, she puts all these together, and these are under 100 And then these are some of my favorites. They come from a company called Zad. It looks like coral. Um, so it looks like coral under $20. 
Great. So can't go wrong with that. Holly's. Now, Holly, your star that you have on, and we have to look at Holly's star because it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> so pretty, blingy, gorgeous. How long have you had that star? I just got that this morning so I could wear it for the show. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> well, lots of fun stuff. Also, I know that you can donate um, for other things here at the Interpretive Center. Talk about that. Absolutely. We have a couple of opportunities where um, you can have, we have only nine left, the whales outside. Um, when they're all gone, we will have raised over 200000 for the exhibits inside the museum. And um, those whales allow you three lines. They're $2,500 each. The majority of that is tax deductible, is allowed by law. And um, it goes into a trust that can only be used for the exhibits. Very nice. We want to keep this place going, and that certainly helps. Great. And the hours that people can come and shop? Oh, from 10 to 5. And we're open every day except for Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and Thanksgiving. I mean, New Year's Day Very and Thanksgiving. Right. Well, I better go find Liz because I think she's already shopping until she's dropping. Holly, thanks so much for being with us. Let's check it out. the village in Rolling Hills Estates. We're going to start off by checking out the artist studios, two galleries that are located here. They are affiliated with the Palos Verdes Art Center. Then we're going to go next door to the Palos Verdes Peninsula Main Library's wonderful gift shop. Being joined by Gabrielle, the manager of the Two Artists Studio, also an artist. It's wonderful to be with you. Just to share about the magnificent things that are in both of these studios. Just start off by what's happening right here. What's happening right here? Well, we are a cooperative, a true cooperative gallery. So every day a different artist staffs the gallery. And our work changes every month in this gallery and every six weeks in the other. It's all one of a kind, original work. We have a range of work from large paintings to small paintings to jewelry to ceramics and glass. We have cards, we have artists' books. Many of artists do um, books of poetry. The yep. work ranges from things that are a dollar to things that are a few thousand dollars. I'm Lynn Ray Ashley and uh, I'm one of the uh, members here of the artist studio and, to, and this is my day to take my turn staffing. Uh, I happen to be a potter. We have quite a selection of potters here and uh, we have a nice variety of different techniques uh, exhibited. As, we, uh, as you come in in this particular spot we have a lot of interesting things even in this corner that are here. Many of the things are here year-round or in different uh, variations by the same artists but they bring in new things all the time. This uh, section here we have um, uh, watercolors by Margaret Moore this this month, but we that rotates through too. We have uh, over on the other side there. We have a lot of nice handbags. We have a nice suplex, a collection of scarves and jewelry and handbags and um, jackets and so forth. is our showcasing gallery uh, at the village and this is a permanent location of a gallery of artists. Currently we have a group show. Most of the year we have six week shows of two wall hung artists and one three dimensional artist. We have sculptures, paintings, wood, ceramics, jewelry. Every day a different artist staffs the gallery and today our artist is Anita Gerlach. Anita is um, a fine oil painter and particularly does wonderful portraits of horses. I don't know if we have any horses on the wall today. They may have all galloped off. A lot of artists do custom work, custom paintings. For instance, we have sculptors that if you want sculptures of your kids or your grandkids that we will do a special commission, um, paintings of your favorite view. Uh, we also have a program of art rental. You can rent a painting and for 
and if you want to keep renting it, everything you pay for rental, if you want to buy it, then goes against the cost of the painting. Um, all were part of the Palos Verdes Art Center, and Palos Verdes Art Center members get a 10% discount all year long. Uh, we do free gift wrapping, a really gorgeous gift wrap that you'll see throughout the gallery. We're open from 10 to 5, Monday through Saturday, and on Sunday, noon to 5, in both of our galleries. <laughs> I'm now being joined by Aileen Hoy, who is the volunteer gift manager here at the library. Talk about the wonderful gift shop that you have and, and what's available. Well, we have different categories. We have jewelry, we have gift cards, and of course a wide selection of gifts. And um, each of those categories are bought by a different volunteer who's in charge of the purchasing and ordering. And our prices are really reasonable, and we give 10% discount to people who are members of the Friends of the Library and uh, on purchases over $5. Now being joined by Jane Jones, who is president of Friends of the Library. Of course, here in this wonderful gift shop, very exciting place. This is run by Friends of the Library. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, it is part of the Friends of the Library, and um, it's part of our income. Uh, uh, the purpose of the Friends of the Library is to raise money and to make friends for the library, the Palos Verdes District Library. Um, the Friends in the past three years have given approximately three to four hundred thousand dollars each year to the library district because the funds that we get from the tax, uh, property tax money is not enough to support the library district the way we would like it supported and to give the service to the community that we would like. So the Friends are a very essential part of the library district and one of the things we do to raise money is our gift shop. It uh, nets us approximately $25,000 a year, so that's a wonderful income for us. And then also we have our book sale, which brings in a lot of income, and our membership. So um, we cordially invite everybody that lives in Palos Verdes to be a member of the Friends. And very easy, just go into any of the libraries at the circulation desk, and they have the forms, or they know where they are, for you to join with us to support our library because we are very, very proud of our library and it is truly recognized as one of the finest libraries in the United States. What do you love most about working in here and having, obviously, you've been, you've been part of the gift shop since you said it opened? <laughs> I think it's just working with the volunteers that everybody is all here for the purpose of helping the library. Right. And of course, as I'm looking behind you, you have your books of Peninsula authors. It's always a great holiday gift, right, is to give a local gift like that. Yes, because, and also, it's a good gift for friends who are leaving the area, and people also give it to new neighbors who are welcome to welcome them. Um, anyone who is looking for something, a gift uh, for a man or woman, um, and wants something maybe a little different, something you don't find in all the rest of the stores, we have it here. There's a huge selection and very reasonably priced too. <laughs> I'm Mark Giudotti and we're here at one of the greenest gift shops on the peninsula, the South Coast Botanic Garden. Let's go check it out. Well, the gift shop is, is a labor of love from volunteers earlier on, um, a few decades ago, and it's continued to evolve into a really great destination for those unique gifts. Um, it's also a nonprofit gift shop, so everything that you see in there, if you purchase, that goes back to supporting the South Coast Botanic Garden. Well, I have items for your garden, garden accessories, I have books, I have children's items, I have awesome children's items. I also have stationery, we have purses from Baskets of Cambodia, which has an awesome story. I have lots of jewelry to choose from. I also have um, hats, and I have um, my exclusive artists. We're lucky to have 
volunteers for our craft workshop that um, make items for us as well. And also our propagation department here, they're volunteers as well. They actually do propagate the plants right here on the premises. And we do also carry California native plants from Palos Verdes Land Conservancy. And um, we are also carrying a lot of holiday items. If you, if you can tell me some of what art you have here at the Botanic Garden. I was very pleased to be asked to be a part of the things of the Botanic Garden since it is a community activity. 50% of all sales here go back to the gardens. And I think that's very important. That's why I'm mentioning it. I was very pleased because I only do one of kind things the only two I do is a pair of ear earrings and even the earrings are individual I don't do two new kinds of things of those each of my necklaces is a totally different beginning and ending I've been teaching at the Palace Race Art Center for over 30 years and then workshops at home for for an additional 10 jewelry is personal art and that's what my, my jewelry is it's our art, art to wear and to talk about my jewelry is supposed to make people talk to each other. It's supposed to be interesting enough, even though it's a tiny whisper, as I call it, that they'll say, what is that you're wearing to my collectors? My collectors get a high on that, and then they can tell them the story, because each one has its own story about the components. This is a collection of photographs over, the, over a period of years that were all taken here in the gardens. Um, when I'm at my best, I'm here every week and taking new photographs and some of them get turned into prints, some get turned into greeting cards. Um, I also did a series of postcards for the garden because they had no postcards until I did these uh, this spring this year. What I try to do is change my paintings every couple of months so something new comes in and I have cards. So I think even a better view of all the different paintings that I've done, and you can see just looking through the cards because all of them come from a big painting. So with the postcards and the paintings, you, have, you cover several different price ranges for people then, right? Right. The cards are, you know, sell for around 350 and the botanical paintings are usually more expensive than the pastel. The shop is actually open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm very privileged to have volunteers help support my staff here at the South Coast Botanic Garden gift shop. I think we're one of those hidden secrets here on the peninsula. People drive down Crenshaw Boulevard so fast they forget we're here. And so I think it's always a great reminder to let people know we're 87 acres of garden here and a great resource for the community. So really I'd like to invite everyone to come down and always make sure to check out our activities on our website, which is southcoastbotanicgarden.org. Well, hope this gave you some great gift ideas for the holidays uh, here at the South Coast Botanic Gardens. And remember, it's always good to get somebody a plant, something like that, that they can last a long time. And now I'm going to toss it back to Liz and Maria at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. Liz, so many beautiful and unique gifts at these nonprofit gift shops. I'm almost done shopping. I know, and there's something for everyone you're going to find. It's about giving, the gift that keeps on giving. It really is. And now there's a woman in our community that knows about giving. She is Christine Brown, who grew up on the peninsula, yeah. owner of a restaurant, Christine. And we are going to join her and her wonderful sister, Louise, as they show us how to make a great holiday appetizer. It is a mushroom yule log. Let's Sounds check it good. out. everybody, I'm Chef Christine Brown from Restaurant Christine. I'm here with my favorite big little sister, Louise. We're gonna be cooking a little bit today. Some holiday, uh, a holiday hors d'oeuvre for you and we're calling it a savory mushroom yule log. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna have Louise help me assemble this, but okay. first we're going to saute some mushrooms in some butter and a little bit of olive oil. We've just got some regular mushrooms here. You can use shiitakes. You can use portobellos, you can use creminis. You can also um, see what mushrooms are in season and go that way. So we've got some butter here and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna let that melt. You're gonna help me in a moment, Lou. Sure. Actually, you know what you can do right now? What's that? You can put the goat cheese in this bowl with this spoon. Okay. okay? Just put sure. it right in there. All right. All right. See? <laughs> So Louise, are you looking forward to the holidays this year? Yes, I am, Christine. Yes. 
Oh. What do you want to have for Christmas dinner? Um, I want to have some lamb. You want lamb? Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to make that or would you like mom to make it? I think, I think we could do it. You want to do it together? Yes. I, I love that eat. idea, Louise. Okay. Wonderful. If you want this recipe, you can contact me at the restaurant at 310-373-1952 or you can email me at Christine and Louise. <laughs> C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E at S is in Sam, B is in boy, O-L dot com. And L-O-U. <laughs> and L-O-U. That's you, Lou. That's right. All right, so we've got the mushrooms going. We've got garlic, shallots, salt and pepper. We use kosher salt here in the restaurant. It gives it a really nice hand feel. <laughs> you know how much you're actually seasoning. And then freshly ground pepper. And we're just going to give this a really quick saute. We want most of the moisture to come out of the mushrooms. We want it to be nice and dry. Okay. Here, you can use this spoon. Okay, thank you. And yeah. put, put that in there. Now, phyllo dough, people might be a little bit intimidated by. We'll go through what, how we handle phyllo dough here at the restaurant. It's really, really not a hard thing okay. to use. Good job, Lou. No problem, <laughs> We got this filo dough at the uh, International Market right down the street here from the restaurant. They have it fresh, which is very important with filo dough. If you use frozen filo dough, sometimes it cracks and breaks, and then it's a nightmare. And then you realize, well, you'll never make and baklava oh, yeah, we'll or nightmare. any kind of strudel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lou, I'm going to put these mushrooms in here. Okay. You don't have to cool them because the mushrooms will help melt the cheese a little bit, which is what we want to achieve. And go ahead and mix that up a little bit. I'm glad okay. to see. I'm gonna move you right over here, baby. Okay. Okay, come over here. And we're going to mix right there. Okay. All right, while I get the phyllo dough, and then you can butter the phyllo dough for me. So we just took phyllo dough, we took it out of the wrapper, it's wrapped in this plastic, and we put a damp towel on top of it. Oh, here, show this to the crowd, oh. like that, and mix like that, okay? So we've got our phyllo dough, we're gonna start with one layer. We've got melted butter, we're gonna put it on a flat, dry work surface. We've got a pastry brush, and you just want to lightly butter it, making sure you hit everywhere so that it adheres, pardon me, Lou, Honey, You're doing a good job, Louise. Thank you, Christine. Well, do you like mushrooms? I sure do. You do? Did I have to tell you that? I guessed it. Okay. Do you know who doesn't like mushrooms, Louise? It's Francine. Our sister Francine. So we don't ever try and sneak any. She won't be eating this one. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So in between um, using the phyllo dough, you definitely want to put the damp towel back on, but we're working very, very quickly. Oops, sorry, babe. I love being bumped. You love being yeah. bumped? <laughs> elbow to elbow, you and me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite thing to cook, Louise? Um, I like scallops. You like scallops? You're surprising me today with all these gourmet things you want. I like um, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp tempura. You look sh like shrimp tempura? Uh-huh. Excellent. And lobster? Lobster. <laughs> for Louise's 50th birthday, if you can believe it, she's 51, she asked me for a lobster dinner, so I got her in a five-pound lobster, and uh, we did it up for her. You didn't finish it. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Good stuff. So we did a layer of panko. This is gonna add a little nice little crunch to this pastry. Don't worry if your phyllo dough breaks up, up, breaks up a little bit. It's not a big deal. It's all gonna be rolled up and baked. Louise, that looks so good. Thank you. It looks nice and gooey, doesn't it? Yes, it is, Christine. You wanna show what you did to the camera? Point the bowl toward the camera, like that. Perfect, Louise. Do you want to taste it to see if you like it? Is it a taste test? Yeah, you can taste oh, it. What is it called? A TT? A TT? Is that your name for it? No. Mm. Awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want my sous chef to not like this. All right, we're going to do a couple more layers of phyllo dough. And then we're going to roll it up. Now, Louise, yes, you see, you, you're done with that. Okay. So we can now put the mixture. I have one made up ahead of time. There's your mixture. Here's mine. Okay. And we're gonna just put this in the phyllo dough. Oh, to roll it up. To roll it up. Okay, got you now. All right. Hold on one second. I'm gonna use some of yours actually. 
Okay. All right, we're gonna roll this up. So easy. Mushroom Yule Log. This is great at room temperature. You can freeze it at this point and then pull it out of the freezer the day you're ready to bake it. And you're going to put it on a cookie sheet. We're gonna butter it again. You wanna do that? Got to. Okay. I and then we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's golden brown. And Alex, will you bring me that finished product, please? Thank you, my dear. And here's our finished product. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Great job, Lou. Thanks. I think you are, you're a painter. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's taste this. Let's move this. Okay. Thank you. And you get to taste this now, Louise. I will. The final product. You tasted, oh. you tasted the mixture, and you liked that, mm -hmm. right? And just use a serrated knife to cut through this. This is a great side dish for lamb, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know you want that for Christmas, so maybe we'll serve this on the side. Okay. What do you think? Sure. Yeah? All right. Drizzle it with a little truffle oil if you want to make it really, really decadent. Okay. You could serve it with a mushroom cream sauce to go underneath it. Lots of different things. Okay. That sounds good. Sound good? Yeah. You want to taste? Mm -hmm. Sound Mmm. <laughs> you approve? Yes, I approve. My sister approves. Thank you so much. We had a lot of fun here today, didn't we, Louise? Yes, we did. You want to cook together some more sometime? Sure, I'd love to do that. Yeah? Okay, yes. good. Happy holidays, everybody, from Christine and Louise. Liz, that looked delicious. It looked easy to make, and I love making new things during the holidays. Always fun. And it was great to see Christine with her sister Louise, because it just reminds us all that it's about being together with family over the holidays. And with Absolutely. that, we want to wish you and your family a very happy and safe holiday season. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. I'm Maria Sorreo, and Happy New Year.